So we got maximum power. Maximum power is equal to e square by 4r or it also can be written as e square by 4 into small r. This is an example of impedance matching where external resistance is equal to the internal resistance in which the variable resistance capital R is adjusted so that the power delivered to it is maximized. The behavior of power P as a function of resistance R is as shown. Here we take resistance R. Here we take the power P. So the power will increase. Maximum power will be there here and thereafter decreases. This is power maximum when R becomes equal to small r. This is the internal resistance. Characteristic of a fuse. Fuse is used with main electrical circuit for the safety of electrical appliance. A fuse wire must have high resistance, low melting point, hence it is generally made up of tin lead alloy. A fuse wire must have high resistance and low melting point, low melting point and high resistance. It is made of tin lead alloy, tin lead alloy. Let R be the resistance, rho resistivity, L length of the wire, A area of cross section, I current carrying capacity. When the fuse is safe, then for its steady state temperature, heat produced per second must be equal to heat radiated by it per second. Heat produced per second must be equal to heat radiated by it per second. Heat produced in fuse wire per second. H is equal to Q by T that is equal to I square R or we can also write I square R is rho L by A. So H will be equal to I square rho L by pi R square joule per second. If E is the emissivity of fuse material of radius R and T the excess safe temperature of the wire above surrounding then according to Newton's laws of cooling. Newton's law of cooling. The energy radiated per second will be H is equal to E into 2 pi R L into capital T. Where E is the emissivity of fuse material. R is its radius. T is the safe temperature. Excessive safe temperature of the wire. So E we call it as emissivity. R the radius of fuse wire. T excess safe temperature. Then for steady state. This amount of heat radiated should be equal to the heat produced per second. So we can equate E into 2 pi R L to capital T should be equal to I square rho L divided by pi R square. So T will be equal to I square rho divided by 2 pi square E into R cube. So we observe that the steady state temperature of a fuse wire is independent of its length. Hence length is a material for electric fuse. For a given material of fuse wire, I square is proportional to R cube. So what we observe? So we observe that the steady state temperature of a fuse is independent of its length. Independent of its length. Hence length is a material for a fuse wire. For a given material of fuse wire, I square is proportional to R cube. 